So the difference between batch stochastic and mean ingredient is, is the number of training examples we use to calculate our loss function. Let's say we have m training examples and let's say that our predicted value y hat for a given training example xi is given by alpha xi plus beta. So basically we have x1, x2 up to xm and the corresponding outputs for those are y1, y2 and ym and corresponding predicted outputs for those are y1 dash, y2 dash, ym dash. So basically y i cap is alpha x i plus beta. So now let's say if in the loss function we consider all the input examples, all the m training examples then the gradient descent would be batch gradient descent. For example let's say the loss function is y i cap minus y i whole square sigma i is equal to 1 to m and since we have to take the average loss we divide it by m and let's say we denote our learning parameter by l and learning rate l is equal to 0 0.5 which is equal to 1 by 2 and let's say we have to update our parameter alpha so alpha would be equal to existing alpha minus gradient of loss function with respect to alpha into learning rate and which would be equal to alpha minus gradient of loss function with respect to alpha into 1 by 2. So basically alpha minus 1 by 2m and derivative with respect to alpha of sigma i is equal to 1 to m yi cap minus yi whole square and this would be nothing but alpha minus 1 by 2m into 2 into sigma i is equal to 1 to m y i cap minus y i into derivative of y i cap with respect to alpha which would be nothing but alpha minus 1 by m sigma i is equal to 1 to m y i cap minus y i so no cap here into derivative of y i cap with respect to alpha is x i so if we use all the training examples our update uh, update looks like this and this is known as batch gradient descent for the stochastic gradient descent we update the parameters such that we do not consider all the examples in our loss function so our loss function would consist of only one example let's say the example is the ith example and the loss would be simply y i cap minus y whole square so the for stochastic gradient update will be alpha is equal to alpha minus derivative with respect to alpha of loss function which is y i cap minus y i whole square into learning rate which is 1 by 2 so this would be nothing but alpha minus 1 by 2 into 2 into y i cap minus y i into derivative of y i cap with respect to alpha which is equal to alpha minus y i cap minus y i into x i so we use stochastic gradient descent because it's easier to calculate the derivative when loss function consists of only one training example and sometimes the process of learning becomes faster if we use stochastic gradient descent but the problem with stochastic gradient descent is that the direction which we get from the negative of the loss function that is gradient of l with respect to parameter w and this direction can be noisy and this direction might not be the right direction or 
might not be the best direction which we can move in to reduce our loss function. So this approach is faster but it's sometimes noisy and so there is a trade-off between how much noise we can handle and how much speed we can get if we use only one training example. So to balance that trade-off what we do is we use something called as mini mini gradient descent or mini batch gradient descent. So in mini batch gradient descent instead of using all the M training examples we use some M dash training examples where M dash is less than M and we define our loss function based on these M dash training examples which is 1 upon 1 by M dash sigma i is equal to 1 to M dash y i cap minus y whole square and we update our parameters based on this kind of loss function so the calculation remains same as in step one and this is kind of best of both the worlds so we are able to calculate the derivative of the loss function faster because we are using less number of training examples so it's faster and it's also accurate it does not contain too much noise because we are using sufficient number of training examples so that we can get an accurate direction represented by gradient of loss function with respect to the parameter and usual typical values of batches can range from 100 to 500 for practical purposes so i hope it's quite clear what's the difference between these three types of gradient descent see you in next video